the hungrier one always wins this is the rule of nature only if you create a demand there will be a supply abundance stock advisors let's make money hello and welcome to abundance stock advisors before investing in a stock it's important that you study everything about the stock and then take a well informed decision there are precisely two ways to approach this that is technical analysis and fundamental analysis in this video our experts will help you understand both of these approaches with some real case studies so you will eventually get to know which approach is better for selecting a stock to get notification on this video and many other life changing future videos do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon stay tuned hello friends welcome to abundant stock advisors if you are a serious stock market investor think of joining our youtube channel it's a game changer in the stock market advisory industry and to know the benefits of joining our channel watch our channel joining video which is coming up at the top here and the link can also be found in the video description below we have some motivation for you towards the end of the video so stay tuned friends let's get to the subject now and understand which analysis is better and we should be using which one to pick stocks so first let's talk about fundamental analysis here we study the overall health and the operational environment of the company in detail and this is done by closely studying the company's income statements balance sheet cash flow the future growth prospects of the company the reputation of its management the overall health of the industry in which the company operates the applicable government policies in it the overall health of the economy etc etc based on all these factors a calculation is done to understand how much is the share price worth today and what could be its future value now technical analysis it operates in a different way it feels that you don't have to study all of this about the company the current share price of the company has already factored in for all those parameters and the current share price and its operational volumes are a reflection of the company's overall health and the investors interest in it so at a very broad level in technical analysis we study the current price movement of the stock its past price movement its trading volumes and other technical parameters and then we make a judgment regarding the future price and the direction of the stock and all of this is done by studying the chart of the company's share so friends in technical analysis charts represent the single version of the truth about the company now the question is which is a better approach technical or fundamental friends to be honest there is no better analysis than fundamental analysis if you can do it nothing like it but there is a very basic problem in getting fundamental analysis right and what is it can you really approach the company's management and get to know their future plans can you really judge the future of the company you have access to the financial reports of the company but can you read between the lines and extract the truth from it can you truly differentiate between what's right and what's wrong can you really trust the disclosed information mind you that fundamental analysis is not an easy job it's difficult it's time consuming and it needs a lot of efforts it's a very specialized skill set and you really need to be an expert at it now having said all this let's try to understand which analysis is better by a small case study so by doing fundamental analysis you bought the stock of hdfc bank on 2nd april 2007 at 200 rupees and 
on 22nd July 2010, that is after three years, the stock reached 400 rupees. Wow, congratulations. Your analysis proved right. Now, purely using technical analysis, you bought HEG in August 2017 at 600 rupees. Now, this stock is not fundamentally great. Had you done fundamental analysis on this stock, you would have definitely, definitely rejected it. But by January 2018, the stock hit 3000 rupees. That's like almost five times in five months. Amazing. Congratulations again. So friends, it's not that only fundamentally good stocks perform. Some stocks may not be fundamentally great, but because they are technically good, they perform very well in a specific time frame. Now remember, both these techniques will throw in a lot of opportunities for you to make money. Now if you can combine the power of these two techniques and screen stocks by using both of these techniques always, your analysis and accuracy will be super and very powerful. Example, Wenkies. We wanted to recommend this stock to our clients in July 2016 at 500 rupees. Fundamental analysis gave us a signal that the company was awesome to invest in. But we did not recommend the stock until we got a signal from technical analysis too. In February 2017, we got a signal from technical analysis to enter into this stock. We then gave a buy on this stock at 600 rupees to our clients. Our buying got delayed by seven months. The stock had got expensive by 100 rupees. But the moment we bought the stock, the stock rallied in no time. It doubled, tripled. Wow, congratulations again. So to conclude, both fundamental and technical analysis are equally powerful. You should always use them collectively. That's the secret. This has two advantages. One, it will increase your accuracy. And two, your timing of buying will always be right. Friends, we want to share a secret with you. In all these years, we have learned that when the markets are bullish and favorable, you should give more weightage to technical analysis, around 60 to 70 percent. And when the markets are bearish, not very favorable, in a correction mode, then you should give more weightage to fundamental analysis, again around 60 to 70 percent. Now, this is not a rule and the strategy can change from time to time. But yes, it helps depending it all depends basically on your experience. At least the strategy of abundant stock advisors keeps changing for maximum benefits of our clients. The point is you will always have to use both of these techniques collectively come what may. We have been following this rule over a period of years now to recommend stocks to our clients and touch wood. It has worked very well till now. So all the best to you. You have both the weapons with you. When to use and how to use is your skill now. Some motivation now. The hungrier one always wins. Friends, how badly you want to make money in the stock markets? Are you really, really serious? Do you want it badly like oxygen? Are you really desperate? If the answer to all these questions is yes, only then you will make money in the markets. This is the rule of nature. Only if you create a demand, there will be a supply. For many such amazing videos, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. If this video has added value in your life, please like and share. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. We will surely reply. Thank you and Jai Hind.